Good morning, everyone. And a warm welcome to all of you to the Church of Mary, Mother of God Parish, as we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith. We begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask the Lord for his abundant mercy. We sent to heal sorrowful in heart, the Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We came to give hope to sinners in darkness, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. We pray for eternal redemption before our Heavenly Father, so we ask the Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of the good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshy people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos, after all? And what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but only God who caused the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven, the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, 
to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus has left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had been sick and various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out of many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left them and went to a deserted place, and the crowds went looking for him. When they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. It seems ironic when Jesus went back to his hometown in Nazareth he was unwelcomed there. And we hear in the sacred scriptures that he could not work any miracles there because of their lack of faith. They wanted to throw him over the hill. They wanted to get rid of him. What a different story it is when he came to Capernaum and he entered Simon's house and his mother-in-law and, and cured her fever and that whole day, throughout the night, they brought all of the sick and the demonic and everybody else who needed healing, and he healed them all. And then he went off to pray on his own. They came, the townspeople came looking for him. They wanted him to stay. One town wanted to get rid of him. This town wanted him to stay, because he had worked all the good work in Capernaum because of their faith in him. Divisions, my dear friends. Saint uh, Paul in that first reading today says, what's wrong with you? You know, uh, Corinthians, he says, I, um, he says uh, you're dividing yourselves. You say, I, I follow the teachings of Paul or I follow the teachings of Apollos. I follow the teachings of whoever else, of Annas and so on. Paul is saying, we're all one in Christ Jesus. There should be no divisions among us. Get rid of that division and be one in Christ Jesus. He is the one who is our savior. He is the one sent from God to redeem us. He is the one who has forgiven our sins by his sacrifice on the wood of the cross. Our faith is in him. Your faith is not in me, St. Paul says, or in Apollos or anybody else. Your faith, but our faith is in Christ Jesus. Get rid of divisions. Well, if we look at the present day, at Christianity, what do we see? Divisions, 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 yeah. And our whole Protestant brothers and sisters, and there are many, many, many different communities. They follow this person's view of religion, they follow that person, they follow this person, they, I mean, even within the Catholic Church, we still have divisions, don't we? Who is very, who follows the conservative, you know, approach to liturgy and, uh, and, and faith and, and morals? Who, who follows the uh, the progressive, uh, you know, uh, theme of, uh, of our incorporation into the church. Who, is, who wants the, the old, follow the old Latin uh, traditions and those who are 
are in, uh, who are the, what we call them the Catholic Pentecostals, the, you know, uh, and uh, we have so many different types of divisions. St. Paul speaks to all of us. We are one in the body of Christ. However we serve him, we are one in the body of Christ. Yes, we have our own personal preferences, and that's just human nature. But when it gets down to faith, and it gets down to worshiping God, and it gets down to our knowledge of God as he has revealed himself to us, our faith is one. And our words and deeds should be one as well. May I invite you to stand now and together offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Our response this morning is, Lord, hear our prayer. That religious leaders will help to nurture a vision of the church where the poorest are offered seats of honor in our communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in civil authority will dedicate themselves to justice, peace, authentic freedom, the generous defense of the poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For those who have died, especially for whom this Mass is being offered, Gerard Lampman, May he be at peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Let us turn to our patroness of our parish and ask her for her intercession as we all put our faith in her Son, Jesus Christ. Hail Mary. Holy Lord grace. grace. Lord, Lord is thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother. God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, I miss that this water and wine may become to share in the divinity of Christ. He humbled himself to share in our Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, and human hands are made, will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness, we have this wine to offer, for the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you as humbled and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. May I invite you, who are one in Christ, to stand and pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessings of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate with love, 
His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so it is with all the angels and saints that we praise you, and without end we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts. are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration. May they become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, on whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night that he was betrayed, he himself took bread, giving thanks said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, in your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Sorry. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. And grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance with the elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her devoted spouse, with all the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people your Son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. 
through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As we are one in the body of Christ, let us pray as he himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us on evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, we pray. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress and divisions as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Power, glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. So the Lord be with you always. Let us share his peace with one another. Lamb of God, Take away the sins of the world. Behold, the bread of life, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we this morning for a call to the Supper of the Lord.
Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts to stir us to serve you and our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in his peace. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day today.